Hey, I'm Charting Man Dan. If you like this video, I encourage you to check out our website, thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis, learning, and education, where we broadcast live market coverage every morning, provide live chart consultation, and point out key levels on your favorite plays in our community chat room. Why not check out our free trial and join the best technical analysis community online? Looking at SPY on the daily and weekly time frame, another bullish day today, and look at how similar this pattern is to the one we saw last week. We had a bearish downtrend, Bullish reversal hammer, long lower wick, maintaining the 100 day moving average support. Look what we had here three days ago, same thing. Next day, gap up, lower wick fills the gap, closes under the 200 day moving average resistance. Same thing yesterday, we had the gap up, lower wick fills it, close under 200 day moving average resistance. Next day, gap up, the difference here, last time the lower wick filled the gap again, this time there is no lower wick. Last time we turned all moving averages into support, same thing today. And we will be looking for a third gap up as we got on December 17th and potentially controlled the entire day by the bears. If we get a gap up tomorrow, that will be a bearish three gap up reversal pattern. We are looking to see if we set a fourth lower high. The third lower high was at 207.25. So if we see another top below 207.25, it will indicate we are heading back down and we will be eyeing the $200 psychological support level. The only difference this time besides that lower wick today <clears throat> is the MACD here. It was further away from crossing last time. This time it's very close. Tomorrow it will be even closer. So that's something worth noting. Volume can't get much information there with the holiday week. Anticipated lower volume because of that. So we'll see tomorrow watching for a gap up and a potential bearish day after that. So we'll be watching for weakness and by doing that we look at the five minute chart and look at the 100 and 200 period moving averages. So that's what we're looking at for SPY weekly chart. Seeing a very bullish week, turning all moving averages back into support currently. We'll see where we shape up tomorrow with the half day of trading and how we close the week. 203.67 is the key 50 week moving average support. So we'll see. That's the setup on the daily chart for SPY. If you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put them out daily. The website again is thechartguys.com. I can convey information much more efficiently live on webcam utilizing the five minute charts. They allow for key attention to detail in terms of support and resistance levels. Like I said, we'll be able to gauge the strength of SPY by looking at those five minute charts. So come on by for a free week trial. I look forward to showing you how we do it and what we're all about. I appreciate you watching this video and I hope you have a fantastic night.